This video demonstrates a fatigue crack growth analysis using the new smart crack growth feature available in Workbench Mechanical. This feature enables you to simulate mode 1 dominant fatigue or static crack growth in engineering structures. The SMART in SMART Crack Growth stands for Separating, Morphing, Adaptive, and Remeshing Technology. Here, we have a completed fatigue crack growth analysis. A fracture object has been inserted and a pre-meshed crack object has been defined using upstream named selection data. You can see the node-based named selections that I've used to define the crack front property, as well as the top and bottom face of the crack. In addition, I've set solution contours property to a value of 5. This enables the computation of fracture parameters for 5 contours. Next, I'll examine the smart crack growth object. The initial crack is assigned using the initial crack property. In this case, the initial crack is the pre-meshed crack object added prior to this object. It's important to note that I've set the crack growth option property to fatigue. Fatigue crack growth is enabled using Paris's law, which is included in the material specification. Also, I've turned the max increment of crack extension property to manual and specified a value of 0.5 mm for the max increment value property. Here, I've created node-based named selections and used them to scope the boundary conditions. Examining the total deformation result that I have inserted, you can see the deformation of the entire model as well as the crack growth. Note how the mesh changes around the crack propagation. Now I want to examine the results I've evaluated using the Fracture tool. There are two types of results, contour results and probe results. Contour results give me the results along the crack front, as illustrated here. For probe results, the graphics show the crack face, however, probes are based on the setting of the crack length percentage property. This property enables selecting the location along the crack front, with 0 as one end of the crack and 100 as the other end. Here, I'm examining the crack extension probe. It plots the crack extension with time. Here, the equivalent SIFS range probe provides the range of the stress intensity factor during the fatigue cycle. Here's the result for the total number of cycles probe. It plots the cumulative number of load cycles the crack is subjected to with time. It is only applicable for fatigue loading. For the probe results, I can use the chart feature to plot the probes against one another. As shown, I select the desired two probes and select the chart button. Using the details view properties, I specify the crack extension probe as the x-axis. I label the chart with the probe names, and then I omit the time from the graph. This displays the plots for each probe result versus one another. Here's another example for the crack extension probe versus the total number of cycles probe. That concludes this demonstration of the new Smart Crack Growth feature available in Workbench Mechanical. Thanks for watching.